yo 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 what's good world it's your boy geo man you already know back with another one man this one right here is kind of crazy and kind of weird if you ask me it's about your boy aaron ross man the big youtuber man and uh he was talking about how he attended the all white parties and then he also said that he attended diddy parties and he say that he's playing, but I want y'all to let me know in the comments on what y'all think on this one. I'm going to keep this one short so I can give y'all this content. But let me know what y'all think. He said he went to the party. He said he had some drinks. He passed out. When he woke up, he was naked. He didn't know what was going on. He don't know what happened. He can't remember anything. And uh, they were sending that baby oil that was stuff that uh, Lil Scrappy mentioned that you know, it's you, you drink it and you can pass out or you will pass out and you won't remember nothing. And uh, that sound like what happened to Aaron Ross, man. He got hit with the okie doke. He claimed that he was playing, but who knows? I want y'all to put two and two together. And I mean, he's a big social media influencer and I'm pretty sure he's done been to more than one of those parties. I mean, if he's talking about he's doing lives with him and you know, he's going to his parties and stuff like that. He could be a part of it. He could be on the tapes. Do y'all think he's on the tapes? I mean, if he passed out, he don't know what's going on. It's a big probability that he is on the tapes, man. This dude said he don't remember nothing or anything that happened. So, um, yeah, y'all got to let me know what y'all think about this one, man. This one's kind of weird, man. It's crazy. He tried to get academics to join him on a live with Diddy, and uh, I don't think that went too well. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this whole situation, man. While you at it, hit that subscribe button. Man, drop them likes. Let's run them up. Let's run them up. Let's talk about this in the comments, man. Share this video, man. I appreciate all the love and support as always. Y'all already know. We're going to keep running this bad boy up, man. We're going to keep it going, man. And uh, I'm going to give y'all all the information as it keeps coming out, man. And y'all just stay tuned and sit back and relax, man. I'm out. At a party. At one moment, I just remember taking a shot, and then the next moment, I remembered I was laying down on a couch naked. I'm kidding. That's the job I'm gonna tell. Exposed. <laughs> GG. <laughs> I had motherfuckers DM me all night last night. Yo, Aiden, do not go to that party. You're gonna get fucked in the ass. I was like, what are you talking about, bro? So, like, I already know this is a new meme, but y'all have been meme me to having the Illuminati and the Freemason and Elite Jew. It's still fast. But, bro, all my life, I've never done any of that bullshit. Y'all be y'all weird as fuck. You know what I mean? Y'all weird as fuck. And then you hear that music saying, Aiden Ross exposed. Nothing, bro. Nothing happened. I had a great time with great people. Go to meet everyone and shit. You know what I mean? So I had a, I had a, I had a blast. I just don't think it was what they say it was. That's all I'm going to say. It's not that I'm scared. It's just, yeah, I'll be real. I am scared. I don't want to talk about it. It's a scary topic to talk about. That's it. It's that, it's that simple. But I mean, it's not easy to put two and two together. Like, if you have common sense. You know what I mean? Seriously. So he's, he's agreeing with me. <laughs> what we on next though, chat? <laughs> Act, do you want to do a stream with me, you and P. Diddy, by the way? Um, I don't think Diddy would be doing any type of stream. Why? Well, hey, I, um, if it's a non-freak off stream, yeah, sure. He hit me up. He said, yo, let me know if you want to get on stream. Pull up to my crib. I said, all right, fuck it. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, at, at this point, I, I think he probably would assassinate me. But, you know, I, I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. You know, I, I, I'm taking him <laughs> at risk to get to the point I'm at. Um... What questions was you asking though? Who P Diddy? Yeah. About music. That's it. He's a musician. He created a lot of every step I take. But that's it. What else is there to talk about? I ain't gonna lie, man. You've been acting mad different since you went to that Michael Rubin party, man. That's some. There's something crazy going on, bro. What are you saying? Everyone says that. I'm the same, bro. What do you mean? Oh, Where we got it. We got it. We got it, Chad. Your call may be recorded for call quality assurance purposes. Thank you for calling the Sean P. Diddy Abuse Helpline. This call is being recorded and your responses will be recorded exactly as you state them and reviewed by our staff and legal counsel. The information you provide is very important should you have a case. You may be asked to verify your responses by affidavit, so your complete honesty is crucial. If you agree to provide accurate information to the best of your knowledge under penalty of perjury, please press 1. Otherwise, please disconnect the phone call now. Should I press 1? I'm not sworn into court. Thank you for calling the Sean P. Diddy Abuse Helpline.
This call is being recorded and your responses will be recorded exactly as you state them and reviewed by our staff and legal counsel. The information you provide is very important should you have a case. You may be asked to verify your responses by affidavit, so your complete honesty is crucial. If you agree to provide accurate information to the best of your knowledge under penalty of perjury, please press 1. On March 27, 2024, this year, Young Jock, Birdman, Puffy, and Denzel Washington was named on a truth of affidavit. Let me read a little bit of what it says. As you can see on the screen, it says affidavit of truth 3-27-2024. Number one, Birdman. Number two, Denzel Washington. Number three, Diddy. And number four, Young Jock. Then it says the Playboy Mansion after party held in Simi Valley on or around 2009 through 2010 while I was in foster care. You can pause and read the rest on your own. This short part is just showing and saying that she attests under oath that what she's saying is true. And here's another snippet of a situation that she went through during one of these essay parties. You could pause and read it. But this whole situation happened at the Playboy Mansion. And you know how we used to go down in the Playboy Mansion for years. But you might be surprised to see Denzel face next to Birdman and Diddy. And surprised that Jock faces next to theirs but you never know who's at these celebrity type parties and remember young jock was signed to bad boys for a while and everybody always said that Birdman flew both ways just like diddy we saw him kissing lil wayne all the time so that wasn't a surprise and jock you know with the flip hair we always had questions, but Denzel, damn, say it ain't so, but Denzel is part of Hollywood, so we shouldn't be surprised, but everybody's innocent until proven guilty inside the mafia. I'm out. Barack Obama got a tape. Yeah, he playing like the hot dog. I know Jennifer Lopez has multiple tapes. Oh, yeah. I know Beyonce got a tape. Oh. I do Drake got a tape. I know Rihanna got a tape. I know Chris Brown's on one of them no. tapes. I know Trey Songs has been like a supporting actor in many freak off films. Um, definitely Usher. The government officials that have been working with the Diddler and the Jay-Z's and the Epstein's and the Weinstein's and all of these people who did all of these terrible things to women, men and children, those officers need to be held in account too. Eric Adams, soon to be former mayor of New York, guess what? He gonna be landing his plane with Diddy right there in the feed. Hey, yo, Jaguar Wright, I told you I had an opportunity for you. I told you I had bags for you. I'm trying to hear what you got to say. But you want to keep taking these other n****s not showing love to the community? That shit weak as fuck. Hit me right now so I can make sure you get a bag and I can understand what the fuck you talking about so we'll know what's the truth and what's not. That shit janky as fuck. You ain't hitting me back, but you hitting all these other motherfuckers back. That's from all these other countries. Like you safe over there. You safe with me. Stop acting scary. Jaguar, hit me back right the fuck now, whenever you can. With all due respect, and I love you, and I'm sorry for cursing. Help me be a better person. Call me back.